Don't you dare to call me a liar! Hey brother, welcome. Hey brother, welcome, welcome. Thank you so very much for inviting me brother. Very yeah. excellent topic. Yeah, I'm, I'm really disgusted. I'm angry. You know why? I'm angry for those Muslim women. Right? Muslim women mm -hmm. in Islam who are accepting that they are called a whore in the Jannah of Allah. The pimp, Al-Qawwad Allah and his prophet, Al-Qawwad. Allah the pimp himself calling Muslim women a qahba. <sighs> Jannah is a whorehouse, right? Exactly, a uh, Exactly. Jannah is a whorehouse full of whores that are your mothers and sisters, ya Muslimin. Do you have any dignity? And, and it's a free whorehouse. Yeah. For everyone, for any time, rather always, that's how Allah described. And I am amazed on Yasmin. Yasmin Qureshi because she is saying that she cannot call in but she is writing in English so yeah. if she is writing and typing in English there is only two meaning of that either she is well educated if she is in a Muslim country she is well educated she goes to college she goes to school so basically she cannot say she cannot call in if she is in a Muslim country if English is her birth language because she is not in a Muslim okay, can country. Can you come closer, brother? Can you come closer to the mic? Some people are complaining ab about that your voice is low. Sorry, is it is it any better now? Yeah, a little better. I mean, if you can come much closer, then you know, just eat uh, the mic, bro. But don't I suck. It. Don't suck it, bro. The, the sucking is only for. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. I didn't, I didn't sorry, try. <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, you bro, know, I'm disgusted, can. and you know, the sucking, the word sucking must is in my mind, brother. Sorry, it's. Is what it oh, is. I will. I will soon send you some videos where people agree that all kind of sucking will be allowed in Jannah. Yeah. So that's a separate thing. Yeah. But for Yasmin, what I have an issue is that if she is in a Muslim country and she is typing in English, then she is well educated, so she can call in. And if she is in not in a Muslim country, then she can still call in. Why is she not calling in? Yeah. What is the problem? The problem is, she knows she will be refuted. She is trying to defend herself. And a lot of Christians are saying, Adam, don't push her. She might get into trouble. No, she cannot get into trouble. That's a huge lie. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she can call in. I gave her a full option. Yasmin, tell me when you can call in, when you will be out of your house. I will open a live stream according to your time. And if she still cannot call in, then she is a liar because she can go to school. That's why she knows English. If she is in a Muslim country, if she is a, in Europe or somewhere where English is the language, then she already has the freedom to do that. So please, Yasmin, go deceive somebody else. You cannot deceive me. No, it's not working here. You know, and only, you know, who she's deceiving, you know. We told her many times, Yasmin, we don't hate you. We actually love you. This is why we are sharing the truth with all of you Muslim, Muslims. Ya Muslimin, nahnu nuhubbukum. We love you. But do you really love yourselves? Do you have any dignity to accept this about your mothers, your sisters and daughters? Ya, uh, ya, ya Muslimat, do you accept about yourself that Allah and his qawad, his pain prophet, are calling you a nice little penis sucking whore in heat, like a she camel is in heat, according to Ibn Kathir? That's what Allah is. Allah. Adam Seeker, you can read Arabic, right? Did I lie? Yes. Did I lie? No. Did I lie? No. Did I show no, Ibn no. Kathir? Did, did I show the description of Ibn Kathir? Yep. Did I go to the lexicon? Yes. Did I show it from uh, a Suyuti's book, page 69? Did it's that, already there. What the definition is did, of Urub? You know, I already did a live stream in Urdu because there are some Pakistani uh, Muslimin over there. And in Urdu, it's called Gashtiya. So she is a Gashti. Mm. Uh, she is a Gashti. 
that's the true word in urdu when you talk about whore yeah. so if they want to accept that so be it but at the same time surah rahman clearly tells us that there will be version every time when you enter upon them so epi there is another christian lady who said like how can it be when they are versions because they will be made version every time you will do the ding dong with them so they will always be on heat ready to erupt i don't even want to use those words but that's how it is that's the, that's how the filthy it is if you read uh, for surah rahman verse i forgot which one at the moment mm. uh, where it is like and they will be made version and you will see into the tafsir it says that ev- because Once you enter in them, it means when you have sex. Can I use the word? Probably yes. Yeah. They will not be virgin again. Hence, Allah yeah. will recycle. Make them Allah virgin. will recycle them. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Allah will make them virgin again every time you will have Al- sex. Allah, brother, Allah has a recycling uh, business in Jannah, and He keeps recycling women. Right? He keeps getting women from hellfire. Those are the Christian and Jewish women and atheist women and so on. He takes them from hellfire. He recycles them. He gives them big booze, right? Weapon of mass destruction. Big melons, brother. Kapow, right? <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> And he makes them beautiful. Their skin is three th- uh, see-through, right? You can even see the narrow of their uh, the bones. Bones. They are super mm-hmm. white, big breast, huge lips, and and wide eyes. Beautiful, brother. Why? And, and Allah wide. gives them to the Muslim man so they can f them for eternity, right? Doing dahman, dahman. Dah- Oh my god. Dahman that's Dahman. Right? You know that's Dahman Dahman you have to explain it for the English speakers. Dahman Dahman means with power, bro. Yeah. Dahman like Big you're boom, basically boom. as a Muslim man you have between your legs you have a drilling machine, bro. Like a you know power tool. That's what you are. That's what you're doing. Dahman hard push hard, bro. Pushing yeah, as hard as you can like ours. You are basically the uh, Italian stallion. Mr. Uh, Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion himself in Jannah of Allah, brother. Yeah, you can Adrian! hear the sound. Come through. <laughs> man, like, movie, is, this, right? is this a word of God, man? Like, seriously, is this a word of God? I don't know. You tell me, brother. You're the ex-Muslim, not me. <laughs> man, that's why I left the stupidity, man. That, why do you think I left that stupidity? When I realize, so basically, if you read the translations, they are written very nicely. You yeah, know of what course. I mean? Shukur course. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sure. We show we show today, right? Did you see my uh, my uh, uh, video? Oh, sorry, my my part that I mentioned today. How they even lie in Sunan yeah, Abi Daud? It, you saw it, right? Yeah, it, yeah this see? this Tippy Bear sent it to me last night, and I was yeah. like, Tippy, imagine, according to the reference as well, laughing he he to menstruation, like is she bleeding out of her mouth or nose? Yeah, yeah, like, maybe. Yeah, no, context, Aisha was laughing, like, right? It says laughing indeed. Right, exactly. she was laughing, and then suddenly she, uh, because of the laughing, brother, she bust out. All the blood comes out her, her ears, nose, uh, all the holes in her body. But no, the Arabic says "tanafasat," means she breathed, not I menstruated. So they need to lie. They need to lie and hide that Muhammad was a nice little pedophile, and they need to say that you know when you're breathing. <laughs> when you're like, breathing, how can, how can these breathe filthy become? liars, man, they have no shame, and they call themselves scholars of Islam, right? And, and and by the way, then I then I showed her the Urdu translation. You know, yeah. in Urdu translation, they haven't changed it yet. By the way, four years ago, it was not menstruation. Yeah. They changed it somewhere between four years. I sent that Urdu translation of it. In Urdu translation, it still says breathing heavily. Yeah. So I sent the link to everyone. So it is still in Urdu translation is breathing heavily, yeah. but in English translation they changed it within the last four years. Now tell me, Because Adam Seeker, can you tell the audience and can you tell me why they always play with the translation? What is the reason? Because they want to deceive everyone. Why? So that they could be, they, so that they could keep the people in the religion. It's a cult. No. They It's don't want. Religion. They are too embarrassed. They they are too embarrassed to say that Muhammad was a nice little pedophile. Right, That's splitting, a splitting, yeah, splitting a nine-year-old girl in half, her moon in half, right, splitting her in half at the age of nine, right. They are hiding that he's a pedophile. That's it. That's why they want to tell you, oh, she was, she was menstruating. You filthy liars. The word is tenafasat, meaning she is breathing. She breathed heavily, 
Heavily. And she was playing on the swings. She came in. She was breathing heavily. So the this the problem is that whether she laughed or she breathed heavily, that's the only difference. That's the confusion. That's it. Nothing more. Whether she laughed or breathed heavily. That's it. Yeah. You see now in, in only in Islam, brother. In Islam, when you breathe, <sighs> so that, you, you know you breathe in, you breathe out. You are menstruating, brother. Did you know that's that? Now, now you are menstruating. You are breathing, right? You are menstruating, brother. Miracle of Allah. Yeah. And by the way, the Tony King, I hear Tony him. King, Tony King, one of the admins is breathing heavily, he's not menstruating. Brother, no, it means menstruation in Arabic, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. Stop, stop. At the nafus, right? Stop at the nafus because you're menstruating, brother. So, the nafus, if you remove the ta in the end, it simply means breathing. Just come on, man. It's just. And, and let me give you a real, real, real incident of last year. 82 years old guy, 82 years old guy, married a 14 years old child. Now, uh, brother, can in, you in tell Pakistan. me, before we go there, just sorry to, to interrupt you, bro. Why is she, breathe, why is she breathing? Why, why is the Arabic saying she's breathing? Just to, she's breathing heavily because she was playing in swings. Thank you. So because she was playing, I mean, child, ch children, she's, remember, she is six years old. She, and then she becomes nine and Muhammad splits her in half. She was playing with dolls. She was swinging. That's why she is breathing heavy. Right? When she came at the door and she's laughing. She's a little killed, children laugh. And Abu Daoud, right? Abu Daoud said that this is to say she is breathing because she just played. And they, in the English translation, these filthy liars, they're calling it menstruating. So when you're playing on, the, uh, on your swing and you're breathing hard, as a child, because you you, become, you you use some energy, you you drop some energy. So you of course you you're running, you're playing, you're going to breathe heavy. Suddenly, breathing heavy in Islam is menstruation, brother. You see it? <laughs> That's all. I, Never I can ever go to the gym, guys, because you're going to menstruate. Never ever take a walk outside because the moment you take a, wa a walk outside, even as a man, you're going to menstruate. Right. So make sure, because that's what the scholars of Islam are saying, right? You, you, you're, going, you're going to bleed, brother, as a man, even as a man. So don't do, go to the gym. Yeah, Muslimin, don't go to the gym, because according to your scholars, it means you're going to menstruate. So where will Muslimin, Muslim men will breed, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, menstruate <laughs> from their what, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, brother, like, it's, it's, it's so... <laughs> Boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, man. Filthy and, uh, liars, filthy deceivers. All of you, one by one. Ahmadi, that, Zakir Naik, Adna, all of you. All of you, filthy liars. But again, what do you expect, brother? They know Islam is dying, so it's an act of desperation. Hiding the truth, lying in their translations, is nothing but desperate times call for desperate measures. That's it. Ha <sighs> ha. May the Lord give them some courage to start talking and learning and get out of this deception. That's all I can pray for them. That's all I can pray for them. And Muhammad was such a pedophilia, a pedophilic, if I'm pronouncing the word right. He even saw the baby child of Ibn Abbas. And he said, when she will grow up, she was... She was crawling, so Muhammad couldn't have married her because she was crawling. And Muhammad said, when she grow up, I'm going to marry her. Like when she will start walking, he'll marry her. And this is in Siratun Nabi by Ibn Ishaq in page number 311. And plus it is in Matavattu Malik. Yeah. So there are two or three different uh, references for this. Mm -hmm. Like imagine the stupidity and sexual filth of the person yeah. that when he saw a baby who's crawling hey rob you might have seen so many baby crawling Did i have, I have, a, I have a kid at home yeah i've seen i've seen him i, I see him every day yeah, <laughs> yeah your cousin, and your cousin's baby forget even that yeah. you go to your cousin's house and you see your, his baby girl crawling and you imagine can you even think yeah. Think of that baby that, hey, when she will grow up, I will marry her or yeah. I will like have sex with her. You can't even imagine that. Yeah. 
Muhammad said it out from his mouth. Mm. What kind of a filthy prophet he is. Guys, uh, sorry Adam Seeker, Yasmin Quraish says, I will become atheist or agnostic. I can't follow Islam from my heart. Guys, Amen. hallelujah. This dear okay. sister just decided to leave Islam. Hallelujah. We are happy Amen. for you, Yasmin. We are happy for you. Guys, can you give her a, a nice little red rose in the live chat? She just left Islam. At least you you respect your own brain, sister Yasmin. You you know we are happy for you that you left Islam. Yasmin, can you can you hear me just a second, brother Adam Seeker? And you yes, can yes. also add to what I'm going to say. Yeah, Yasmin, are you with me, Yasmin? I'm happy for you that you let just left Islam. Are you there? I know it must be a hard choice, but the truth accepting this truth is not hard, sister. We told you that before. Are you still there? Can you give me one, yeah, Yasmin? Guys in the live chat, don't talk to her. I and Adam Seeker only are allowed to talk to her, okay? So don't stop texting her. Yasmin, are you there? Yeah, so I yeah, know you are fed up, yeah, Yasmin. She, yeah. yeah. she, she sent a message. So it says, mm. uh, this is a very good message now. Yeah. Is any religion true in the world? I am yeah. fed up of this religion. So this is the question as well. Yeah. So now you are searching for the truth. Yeah. And truth will set you free, Yasmin. Yeah. So search for the truth and there is only one truth. And you know how I reached to this conclusion? I can tell you because I was at your place at one time. Start reading Bible. Start reading Bible. And then come back. First, go through the New Testament. Yeah. What Jesus said, that's the new covenant. Even Quran tells you that Jesus came and he abrogated certain things of the past. Even even Quran, because Quran is already a copy paste thing from the uh, uh, from the Bible and from the other apocrypha accounts. So start reading the Bible, read the book of Luke to begin with. We call it Gospel of Luke, and in the first chapter you will see the major major difference from the Isa of Quran and the Jesus of Bible how they were born, mm -hmm. and you will see in Quran. Mary is crying to Allah, Oh Allah, from this childbirth pain, pain of this childbirth, you should have killed me in oblivion. Hmm. So Mary, who was given an angel to tell her that you are going to have a miraculous baby, she, that Mary in Quran, is saying, Oh Allah, I would have died in oblivion before this childbirth pain. Whereas when you look at the book of Luke, chapter number one, Mary is rejoicing, singing. There is a song of Mary in the end of the chapter number one, yeah. which tells, which Mary is singing and thanking her Lord, saying, Lord, thank you for this miracle that you have given me. Yeah. So the very first thing that you will see is the absolute contrast of a stupidity Versus the true word. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to understand. Is, is Yasmin still with us? Yasmin, are you there? I know. You know. You took a very difficult uh, step. Yes, it is a very difficult. You step. drop Muhammad like the fake prophet that he is, and you drop and you Islam, his man-made religion. But sister uh, Yasmin, are you there? I want to know. I'm. I want. I'm just. You know. I want. When I speak to someone, I want to know if that person is at least listening. So, are you there? I, we don't want our words to go in vain, uh, Sister uh, Yasmin. Are you there, Sister? We love you. We respect you. Are you still there? We are happy for you. And all the people in the live chat, they are praying for you. They are happy for you. They are praying for you to find the truth. Are you still there, Sister? I hope she's there. Just a second, brother. And she must be very emotional right yeah, now. Yeah, she, she must be. I mean, it's not easy, right? To take such a step. It is. It's not hard. It's follow, not hard to I accept the truth. But it exactly, might be like, a huge step to take. But she took the step. Yes. Yeah. And I, I cried for three days. Almost. Did you hear it? And I left this. Yasmin, this is the person that I was talking to you to, uh, about to you. I, I told her about you, brother. You see, Adam Seeker here, who is now on the call with me, he used to be a Muslim like you. A Muslim like you, just like you, right? He was a Muslim for at least 30 years. He was praying five times a day, like you. And he decided to leave Islam and become a Christian. Is she there, guys? 
I don't see your name anymore. Why is that? Uh, let me scroll back. I don't see your name. I don't see her for now as well. Probably yeah. she is in an emotional state. Maybe, at this yeah. Point. Who knows? Yeah. But anyhow, I think she can she can come back and listen to my last conversation that I said because this is very important. Now that she said that, is there any religion which is true? She's here. So bye bye guys. I'm yeah, going, going to, to go. delete uh, my YouTube account. Uh, you, uh, yes, mean why? Are you, why? Why are you not? You know, don't be afraid. Keep watching our videos. You'll see. Right. You don't and, have and to text. And mm. just keep watching. Yeah, Learn. I see. I see, guys. You don't need to tell me. I'm I'm following. Yeah, yeah. Yasmin, um, before you go, you should know that Muhammad, six hundred years after Jesus, he created Islam. He created Islam exactly six hundred years after Jesus, and he created Islam to attack Jesus. Does that mean that when Muhammad is a liar, and we prove that he's a liar, nothing but a liar, a filthy pedophile? Now that you accepted it too, and you left Islam, does that automatically mean that Jesus is not God? No, of course not. He actually only lied about Jesus and he tried to rob the divinity of Jesus. Because in the Bible, we over and over we can see that Jesus is claiming divinity. He claims to be God over and over and over. He did many miracles. He even gave people their lives back. Dead people, he made them alive again. If Muhammad is a false prophet, does that automatically mean, is that the logic, that Jesus is not God? Of course not. So you should be still open for the real truth. You accepted that Islam is false, we're happy for you. But that does not automatically mean that Christianity is false. Remember, right? Go ahead, brother. Exactly. And the second thing is, a lot of Muslim comes in and say, where did Jesus said, I am God, worship me? The problem is, when people are already worshipping Jesus, do you think Jesus has to say, worship me? That's my first question. You know, mm -hmm. because that's a very, very important question. And you will see the answers in the gospel. You will see since his childhood, people were worshipping him. Mm -hmm. You will see it in multiple verses, no matter where you go. In mm -hmm. Luke, I gave her Luke because it's there. I In Matthew, let me let me give some verses. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just type in over there all the way. So it is in Matthew. There you go, Yasmin. Let me tag you. These are all the verses, not all, some of the verses. Chapter number 2, verse number 11 of Matthew. John 9.38. Luke 24.51-52. Matthew 14.33 and etc. I just sent it. So read that. People were worshipping Jesus. And everything which is in the New Testament about Jesus is pre-proclaimed by the previous prophets. That is how I came to the conclusion that this book has authority over every other book. Exactly. Because how can over 30 people writing in different timings could write about one who would come and give the salvation to everyone. Exactly. How is it possible? It's not possible unless there is a divine God and what he said is going to be fulfilled. Yeah. Isaiah chapter number 7 verse number 14 says, Virgin will give birth and you will call him Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter number 6 verse number 9 says, That child will be called a mighty God. Amen. So everything which was pre-proclaimed about Jesus, pre-proclaimed about Jesus was fulfilled. And Yasmin, that's exactly why I gave you the verses. At the rate, Yasmin, again, there you go, the verses. My question to you is, why don't you call in? Come on. It's, I know you can call in. Or if you cannot call in right now because you have parents around or somebody around, give me a date and a time when you will be out somewhere where you can call. Because obviously you are not in jail in your house. You go out. So give me a date and time. And I will open a live stream. For talking to you. Only. Or you can come to my discord. I can talk to you offline. In discord. I have a, Or you can call. Come on. Be reasonable. If you are really now looking for the truth. You have to find the truth. 
and you mm-hmm. have to do some struggle yeah, okay. so what you are saying is that if i am worshiping you let's assume yasmin you i start worshiping you some day you will stand in front of me me and my family and my friends come to meet you and we bend down on our le- knees and we start worshiping you what are you going to say as a human you're yeah. going to say do not worship me yeah i am not god yeah. worship your god yeah. whereas i have sent you verses where people worship jesus and jesus accepted that worship let me give you in revelation 19 verse number 9 to 10 read that as well <sighs> because there john thought of that angel as god and he bent his knees and he started worshiping him and the angel of the god said do not worship me i am not god worship only your god exactly do you see so jesus either had to say the same thing which is written over there by the angel the, by the john because john thought of angel and mistook him as god or you have to believe what jesus allowed to be worshiped there is no third way mm. see thank you rob for putting it up and this i fell in his feet to worship him but he said to me do not do that i am a follow servant with you and your brothers and sister who hold the testimony of jesus worship mm. god for it is in spirit of the prophecy who bears the testimony of to jesus so basically that angel told john don't worship me mm. worship the god in spirit jesus yeah you see um i want to add to what uh, brother uh, adam sik just told you yes me look look you see all over the bible if you go to the new testament all over the new testament we see that the followers of jesus were worshiping him look yasmin are you there with me yasmin look read with me look how the followers of jesus his apostles al hawariyin as, as the quran calls them al hawariyin right look what it says in matthew 14:33 look what it says and those in the boat worshiped him who jesus saying you jesus truly you are the son of god did jesus told them no 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 stop worshiping me no they worshiped him and he accepted worship did you catch it that's matthew right there look what the following one says hebrews 1:6 and again when he brings the first born into the world he says that all god's angels worship him jesus hallelujah more and be all jesus met them look jesus met them and said greetings like uh, in arabic would say assalamu alaikum salam alaikum and they came up the people came up and took hold of his feet and worshiped him who jesus did jesus say please don't worship me i'm not god no he accepted to be worshiped they worshiped him exactly jesus who are you to be worshiped by men well he's the son of god he is god and jesus said i and the father are one do you see it and they worship look how many verses and they worship jesus and return to jerusalem with great joy over and over and over we see that jesus is being worshiped do you see it jesus is being worshiped no, no, you you absolutely you yeah. absolutely did the right thing and to showing these verses so basically either according to you if jesus did not rejected them to worship him yeah. either he is doing shirk yeah. then it makes him not a prophet at all because mm. he was he was a mushrik then uh, a prophet cannot be a mushrik mm. so or the second conclusion is he is more than just a prophet mm. so he is fully man he is prophet because he gave prophecies and he is god yeah. so how that is described the trinity Mm-hmm. and brother sam last time described it very good so i'm going to use that uh, analogy as well yeah you have one car one car you have one car but it has four doors to enter yeah even in the human made things you have one guard car as in car but it has four doors to enter you can reach god by any door you want to Mm-hmm. through the holy spirit through jesus god the father said that jesus said and jesus was very clear he 
put himself equal to God when he said, and ask the Father in my name's sake, and it shall be given. Amen. So why did he said in my name's sake? Because he was putting himself equal to God, to the Jews who does not believe in him. And that is why the Sama is Sama Yisrael, Yahweh Elohino, Yahweh Ahad. Jews read it as Adonai Elohino, Adonai Ahad, because they they yeah. follow the first It says basically, Lord, 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 Echad. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Echad, one. That's what Amen. it means. Yeah. And at Elohim by itself is pruler in unity. Yes. And that is why the word is Ahad, yeah. not Yaqid. And God said, let us, let us, let make us man. make men, a man in our image. Let exactly. us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God. One God. We don't worship three gods. That's what your Shiuch, Yasmin, and others like Yasmin are listening. Your Shiuch, your scholars have lied about us. Allah lied about us. <laughs> There's no Allah. It's Muhammad's own yeah, invention. That's Muhammad, the first yeah. thing. You see it, uh, Yasmin. You, you, you Muslims have always asked them. Now you're not a Muslim anymore. But the Muslims have always asked them, why do you worship Jesus? Well, here's why. His followers used to worship him. I mean, uh, Jesus is not only a human being. He is much more than that. He is God in the flesh. Watch, uh, Yasmin. Let me show you. Let me prove to you, Yasmin. I hope you're listening. You know, it, when you read the gospel, it's so amazing. Look, John 1, 1, all the way to, let's say, 15. Hallelujah. Look, look, Yasmin. In the beginning was the word. Do you see it, Yasmin? In the beginning was the word. The word of who? The word of God. And that word was with God. Do you see it? So the word, Al-Kalima, the word, Kana and Allah. Al-Kalima, Kana Allah. And look what it says. And that word was God. Do you see it, Yasmin? This is why we worship Jesus as God. Watch. You are, are you still following? Okay. So Jesus is that word. Even the Quran claims that Jesus is Kalimatullah. That same Kalima. He, and Muhammad stole it and put it in the Quran. Chapter 4, Ayah 157 of the Quran. Chapter 4, Ayah 157 of the Quran. Was it? No, sorry. Chapter 4, Ayah 171. Yeah, 171. Sorry. Yeah, I corrected. Uh, thank God, I corrected myself. Chapter 4, Ayah 171. So, that word is God. God is that word. That word is God. And if we scroll down, pay attention. Ayah 14. Yasmin, Ayah 14. Look, uh, verse 14. Look what it says. That same word of God, who is God, became flesh. You see it. That word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So God became flesh. He took on a flesh body in the shape of Jesus. So God became Jesus in, in the body. So now he, is, he has two natures. He is human, 100% human, and he is 100% God. Did you catch it? Yes, yes. So he's, he has you, two natures. She, she asked another question. She asked another question. Did God create everything from, by his word? Yes, yes. And that is also biblical. Yes. Now let his let word is yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So, Oceans. yeah. L let me show you how when, when God creates, he creates through his word. Watch. Mm -hmm. Watch. So it's Jesus who's creating? Yes. Jesus is the creator? Yes. Amen. Watch. Where where are you going, brother? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking up the. Can you go to first uh, first uh, sorry? Can you go to Colossians chapter number one verse uh, one uh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen? So Yasmin, let me give you the answer for that before you ask two more questions from that question. That's a very nice question. That is why I tell you call in because this is the things that we need to discuss mm. because we need to show you all mm. these references so that your scholars who has. Uh, destroyed your brain should be removed. So now, tell me. Colossians what again, brother? Just sorry. Chapter number 1, verse yeah. number 15, 16. Okay. 1, 15, 16. Oh, 15, okay. 15 and 16 and you okay. will have... Uh, yeah. Okay. The sun is the image. So Jesus is the image of the invisible God. You see it? The sun is the image of the invisible God. So when you see Jesus, you see God. The firstborn over all creation. You see over it? all creation. Next verse. So Jesus is the image of God. So Jesus is God. Thank you. 
And the next verse, for in him all things were created. Do you see it? So when, G when God is speaking, remember, Jesus is the word of God. When God speaks, that word is creating. For in him, in him all things were created. Who in Jesus, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whatever the thrones or power rules or thirds, all things have been created through him and for him. For who? For Jesus. Do you see it? So Jesus owns you. He owns me. Jesus created you. He created me. And remember, he is the word of God. Thank you very much. Exactly. And, and let me give you the analogy over here. The, yeah. the beauty of this verse is that the writer, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, actually used the language in its fullness. You see, he did not use a very small word. He encapsulated everything. Everything on the earth and in heaven. Visible and invisible. So whether you believe in genies or you do not believe in genies or you believe in spirits. Whether you believe in visible things that you can see or you believe in microscopic things that you cannot see. Whether you talk about things in heaven, mm. maybe in another planet or you talk about things on earth. Mm. Everything is 100% created through Jesus, by Jesus. Now, let me exhaust it even further for you. Mm. As a father, God has been called a father since the Old Testament. Mm. No matter where you see, is God has been called father. A father cannot be a father unless he has a child. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why father, son, and every living object has a spirit. So father, son, and the spirit, no matter how you take it, you will always found, find father, son, and the Holy Spirit. Because without these three, there is nothing. There is nothing. Brother, you can actually go to... Yeah, look, look uh, here is just, just a second, brother. Uh, Sister Yasmin, are you with me, Sister Yasmin? So we showed you from John 1.1 1, 1, that the word is God and the God is that word. al kalima the word is God from the very beginning, right? Look what it says here in Hebrews 11, verse 3. Hebrews 11, verse 3. That's the verse I was looking for, brother. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God. Who? Jesus. So Jesus is the creator? Mm -hmm. Do you see it? The word of God is the one who created everything? Yes. So Jesus created everything? Yes. So that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. So is that word. So when God speaks, that's Jesus himself, the word of God, who created everything. Bam! Do you now understand why we worship Jesus? Now do you understand why the followers of Jesus used to worship him? That's Hallelujah. Why. Anything, Yasmin, you asked, is the word coming from the Father? Now, let me ask you a yes. question first. Yes. Let me, yes. It, it, the answer is yes, but he, she has a follow-up question, and I yeah. know that where she is going. Yeah. I had all these questions myself, man. So, so let me tell you, is Quran the word of Allah? Okay. You are still referring to Quran and your old beliefs. So now let me give you the answer in a, in a true way. So, Quran is the word of Allah, which is never created, which is the Ummul Kitab, the mother of all books, which is up in the heaven in the tablets, which was never created. Same thing, if th that was already stolen, basically, from the word, word over here in the Bible. But the word is not Ummul Kitab in, 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 in the true word of God. The word is Jesus. So, that is what I'm telling you. Do not actually correlate these things on the stupidity of the Quran and the mm. scholars of Islam. Yeah. They actually changed it. Yeah. But once again, the word, if, if God is eternal, then his word is eternal. Yeah, look, That's uh, uh, yeah. The thing. To, to add up to what we said earlier, Yasmin here, John 16, the Gospel of John, the Injil of John, 16, verse 28. Look, I, Jesus, came from the Father and entered the world. So he existed with the Father in heaven? Now I'm leaving the world. So when he went back, he's leaving the world and going back to the Father. Jesus, that's a huge divine claim. Jesus just called himself God? And he's going back to the Father? Yes. So he existed with the Father? Yes. Here, here's more. 
John 6. Watch, Yasmin. Watch. John 6. Oh. Uh, John, let me go back. John 6, verse 38. Watch. Watch, Yasmin. John 6, the Gospel of John, the Injil of John, 6, verse 38. Look. For I have come down from heaven, not to, my, to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me, who? The Father. Right? So Jesus does come from the Father as the eternal word who existed with the Father. That same word that created, as we showed you, that created everything. Right? Okay. And he came from the Father because it was the will of the Father to save us. Okay, That's how much a... God lo loves us, right? Exactly, and now she has another question. Yeah. Okay, was the father in a spiritual human form? No. Now, go to Philippians chapter number 2, verse number uh, 5 onwards. Please, let's let's give her all the answers mm -hmm. that she's asking, even though she's not, uh, she not calling us. Philippians chapter number 2, verse number 5 to 11, we are going to read five, uh, six verses. I know you are not attacking, Jasmine. You are asking questions, and this is fine. Philippians, we, we are here oh, sorry, go, come again. I chapter 2. Chapter yeah. 2, verse number 5 to 11, we will read all of that. Because yeah. her, all of her answers are in there. Mm. 5 to 11. Yeah, read, Bruna. So, let's just read. So, in mm. your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Next. Who, mm. being in very oh, nature oh, 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 God. Look. Through he was God. He was God. He is God. Same, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Through he was God. Yeah. He did not think of equality with God. Yeah. Look something at to cling yeah. to. So basically what did he do? Go to next verse. So what he is God. He is God. Yeah. Who existed mm -hmm. in the form of God. Go to mm -hmm. next verse. Don't worry. Everything will be answered over here. We don't have to say a single thing. The so Bible he lowered himself. Right? That's rather. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Rather he made himself nothing. He lowered himself. Human. That's what the exactly. meaning says. Right? Exactly. He gave up his divine privileges. So basically, he became a human, right? He exactly. became up, He took a humble position of a human. Look, that's what it says, right? Continue, brother. Exactly. He humbled himself, position of a slave or a servant, depending on which translation you will read, yeah. when he appeared in a human form. So, so Jesus. Wait, Jesus has two natures. Jesus is 100% God and he's 100% human. That's what it Amen. means in Christianity. So we Christians, that's we worship. Why we worship Jesus? Jesus existed with the Father as the Word of God, the Eternal Word, that same Word who created, that came down, like the Quran in chapter four is saying, "Alqaha ala Maryam." Alqai cast down on Mary, right? And he was born from Mary. He took a human body, a human form. So Jesus has two natures. He's hundred percent divine. And 100% human. Did you catch it? That's why we worship Jesus. That's why we call Jesus God. Right there. Shall I continue, bro? Yes, brother, brother. Because this is very important. It gives all the answers. Mm. So, verse number 8. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens? And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient even to the death on the cross. Mm -hmm. So, now this comes in. Why did he die on the cross? This passage only gives a hint. Yeah. Dying on a cross, we can go to another topic on that. Yeah. Lengthier topic. Why did he do that? But yeah. he humbled himself so that he could do that. Yeah. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above all names. And God here is the Father, right? Yes. God is the Father. And what is that yeah. name? That at the name of Jesus... Every knee should bow. Wow. In heaven and on earth and under the earth. So when you hear Jesus' name, Adam Seeker, Yasmin, Yasmin, when you I'm hear the bow. name Jesus, your knee must bow down. And yes. in heaven, on earth and under the earth. So even Satan must bow down to Jesus? Yes. Why? I mean, why? That means Jesus is God. Did you catch it? Hallelujah. 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 So do you Next see why verse. we are Christians? Do you see why we worship Jesus, uh, Yasmin? You, as a Muslim, Muslim, you have this truth was kept hidden from you. And we know why Muhammad created Islam, to attack the divinity of Jesus, to attack God himself. This is why we call Muhammad 
a prophet of Satan. He is the Dajjal. He is the Antichrist. A Antichrist. Continue. Next verse, and that would be the end of it. Yeah. And every tongue acknowledges that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father, to the glory of God the Father. You see it? Sir. Christ is Lord to the glory yes. of the God of the Father. Jesus see, so Christ again, is admitting Lord. that Jesus is Lord? He is the Rabb. Rabb Arbab. Amen. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You see, uh, Yasmin. Yasmin, please, please. You just left Islam, but that does not mean that you are saved. To be actually saved, to be united with God again, you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because he died on the cross for you, for me, for Adam Seeker, for everybody who accepts him. You know, the, the, Bi the God of the Bible, sister, the God of, Bi of the Bible is such a loving God. That he did not leave us on ourselves to die in our wicked sins. We are sinners. But because God created us out of love, he wants us back home. And who can only save us? We cannot save ourselves. We needed God himself to come into the flesh and save us okay. on the cross. The moment Jesus died on the cross and he resurrected on the third day, he conquered death so that we can go back. Jesus paid Jesus paid that debt for us on the very cross right there 2,000 years yes. ago. So we yes. can be saved and be reunited with God. The only thing is we need to accept this love from God, this, this gift from God. But you Muslims, unfortunately, you are speak. denying it. You don't accept this gift of God. You accept Muhammad's lies 600 years after Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected on the third day. Do you see it? It's in front of you, sister. This is why we need every Muslim to be saved like we are saved. Because we do worship Jesus. Because Jesus is the divine word of God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is God. Amen. And Yasmin, I, I saw your last comment. Awesome right on spot. Yeah. Because, uh, let me read your comment first. And it says, I want to give you a strong argument for you so you can ask Muslim if Muslim don't believe Jesus as Messiah, they mean Messiah means healer, then how will Jesus save from the Jal? That is an ob absolute... See, now your brain is open! Yeah, yeah. Now your brain is open! Yeah, you see, the moment <laughs> you, you see, Sister Yasmin, the moment you left Islam, you started to think. And this is why one of my live shows was called what? The moment you start to use your brains and you start to think, that's already kufr. Because you used your brains, you became a kafir. The moment you are not a zombie anymore, you will accept the truth. You are not a zombie of Islam anymore. You became alive. You, you, you start, your, your, your brains became, start to function. And now you are open for the truth. So I invite you to become a Christian sister so you can be saved. You're still not saved. You can keep calling yourself an atheist, but you will never be saved. You need to accept the gift of God because God loves you. He loves his children. We are the children of God. Amen. God created us in his image. God created us out of love, not to be his slaves, but he created us out of love. We are his children. We are much more than his servants. We are Amen. his children. He's our spiritual father in heaven. And he sent, he wanted his son to be sent to send, to send him on earth to, so that he can save us. To die instead for us. So sh we can s stay alive. Never die. Yes, maybe our bodies will die. But then when Jesus comes back, all our bodies will be resurrected. We'll be and united again with God. Amen. And this is also biblical. Yeah. Uh, the, our, so Jesus said that they can kill your body. They can destroy your body. They can kill your body. They can defile your body. But... Who is more powerful, the one who can destroy the body or the spirit? See, so this is already said yeah. that his, our spirit will be with God and the heaven is not a filthy brothel free for all sex. It is not, sister. Yeah. It's not. It's divine spiritual. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of the God and that's the beauty of heaven. And look at Why this. Would, yeah. Yes. Look at this. Uh, Look what Romans, Romans 6, verse 
23 is saying, For the wages of sin is death. So the moment you start to sin, you know what sins mean? You disobey God's command. That's what Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden, right? The moment they start yep. to sin, sin is death. That's why humans could die. But the gift, look what it says, Yasmin, and others like Yasmin are watching. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ our Lord. So when you believe in Jesus, he is the, he is the eternal word of God. He is God himself in the flesh. You will have eternal life. And you will be reunited with God again. Amen. Amen. But you need to accept that he died on the cross for you. For you, for me, for everybody here. But whoever accepts it's him. on you to uh, accept that gift or reject that gift. Brother, please open Hebrew 1, verse number 1, 2, 3. Beautiful. Bible is so beautiful. Everything yeah. is clear. It man. has all Everything. the answers, brother. It has all the answers. All the answers are there. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Yeah. First go to one, brother. Oh, one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes. You kafir, Rob, you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Praise man. Lord. Hallelujah. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times in various ways. So now, in the past, this is described what happened in the past. Okay, now what is happening now? It says, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Who's by that? his God. son. Did you catch it? Hallelujah. So God has a son. Yes, that's Jesus. Whom he exactly. appointed heir of all things. So Jesus owns everything? Yes. Even wow. one of the... One of the one of the names of Allah and is the last inherited. part. The last part is even is is very important. Look, and through Jesus, who whom also He made the universe. So when God mm -hmm. speaks, when God speaks, that word is Jesus. The spoken word of God is Jesus, who created yeah. everything. Yes, yeah. that's why we call Jesus Kalimat Rab, right? Kalimat Ilila, right? So He is the Word. And you Muslims call him, even you Muslims in the Quran, even Muhammad, Satan himself, had to accept that even in his book, in his satanic book, the Quran, he had to say that Jesus is Kalimat Allah. Wow. Do you see it? That's divine irony right there. And, and, and imagine, yeah. now we have the Son of God appearing as a human. I have already shown you in the Philippians chapter 2. Now what happens in verse number 3? Mm. That's... Like, finish all the arguments. Yeah. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word after he had provided purification for sin. So what did Jesus do? He purified us as humans. Mm. After he provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is a powerful verse. Look, the son, Jesus, this mean, the son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. So <laughs> you see, this verse explains that Jesus is God himself, sustaining all things by his powerful word. So the, God's word is Jesus. Jesus is God. The spoken word is Jesus. Jesus is God. He is the second person in the triune Godhead. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one God. Right there. Wow, Yasmin, what a beautiful answer. Yeah. Imagine that. Now your, your brain is open, sister. Your brain is open. Yes. Jesus is the word of God. Guys, God. look what she said. Quran exactly. is the word of Allah. Yeah. Then Quran is divine. So Jesus also needs to be divine. You see, awesome. Yasmin, your, your missing pieces are now fitting in the right places. Look what Yasmin said, guys. Yasmin said, Jesus is the word of God according to the Quran. Exactly. He's kalimat Allah. al meaning cast down on Mary. That's what chapter 4 is saying. al So Jesus existed with Allah. And he said, sent Jesus down as the kalimat, uh, uh, the eternal word. Jesus, kalimat Allah, the eternal, uncreated word of Allah, sent down on Maryam. Exactly. So, even the Quran admits that Jesus is the eternal word. Uncreated eternal word. That's the... You can imagine you see how, how powerful God is. starts working. Yeah, yeah, right after you leave exactly. Islam, the brain starts working, man. You see, her brains actually are working now. Hallelujah. So, 
Sister, I'm sure you're going to accept Christ. Maybe today. Are you open for the truth, sister? Sister, sister yes, me. Please call it. Are sister, you open? Call it. Yeah, either she can call or maybe. Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes or no? Do you accept the gift from God, sister? Yes or no? It's a free gift. Accept it's, it and start reading. It's by yours. It's yours. Take it. It's yours. It's, it's free. Gift is free. You don't have to pay. You don't have to recite Shahada. It's free. And then I have shared my Discord. People send her my Discord. Mm. And I have shared my Discord. Come there. I will go through any biblical passage with you. I'm, I'm well, there, by the way, too. But I'm just pretending yes, to there. not be there. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm yeah. on Adam Seekers. Uh, I joined, I think, two days ago. Someone invited me to go there. Adam Seekers, is, he has a new uh, Discord server. Maybe, the, uh, you know what? Maybe I myself can. Let's see if I can. Uh, let, let me open. just do that. Yeah, can you put just it in? So uh, yeah. You can yeah, download the app, guys. Download the Discord app from the App Store. And then when you click on the link, you, you copy the link that, uh, that our brother is going to put in the live chat. Copy it. And uh, after you install Discord, it will take you a couple of seconds. You can join the server, right? And. Uh, you can have wonderful discussions there. I'm only there to pretend to be there. So, you know. <laughs> and, and, and I did that yeah. because there are certain Muslims who does not want to come up live because of certain issues so that I could mentor them and give the answers to them offline yeah. where things are not live. Huh. So this is the only way why I actually created that. Mm -hmm. And yes, sister, fair enough. You can read the Bible. She said that I need to first read the Bible. Yeah. And fair enough. Read the Bible, and if you have questions and you do not want to come up live, I have shared the Discord server so that you can come there, yeah. ask me questions offline, yeah. so that you could keep hiding your identity. If yeah. that is the brother, I already sense. Yeah, already, you know, she's using now. Finally, for the very first time, I'm not trying to insult you, Yasmin. I know you seem like a very smart person. Else, you would have never left Islam. We respect you. You know, now you forced me to respect you because now you are starting to using your brains, right? And I'm sure one of these days you're going to accept Amen. Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're going to bow down, as the Bible says. You're going to bow down. Your knees, your knee will bow down and your tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. All of us. We cannot deny it. Yes. But if we don't accept that gift, his gift, you will die in your sins. You will die in your sins because you are rejecting God himself. Hallelujah. Amen. So Wait you can either, either accept him, accept him as a gift and bend your knees in love yeah. or he will come back again with the mighty power and then you will have to bend the knees. So it just depends whether you want to bend the knees now yeah. in love or you want to bend the knees when you have to because he's already sitting in the right hand of the god mm. yasmin said can i ask one more question please sister sure one more question throw it in so you either accept now or you will have to accept mm. one of the two that's all it matters and there is no shahada you just have to believe you cannot testify you have to believe and you have to accept yeah. that's the word of God just read it nothing is difficult in Bible it's in such chronologically ordered that you cannot go anywhere why Allah needed Jesus to be born there is no Allah number one <laughs> yeah. Allah is a is a is a stupid invention of Muhammad yeah. number two needed Jesus to be born of a virgin didn't find any good reason perfect yeah, that's very good question and awesome. uh, uh, if, if you allow me Adam Seeker to f go first you know we yes. have been asking this question you know I'm doing this for almost and I'm not trying to brag God forbid I'm almost doing this for 16 years sister Yasmin right preaching the truth exposing falsehood exposing Islam because it's false and I've always asked this very question that you just asked to, to all the Muslims. Why is Jesus born from a virgin? And doesn't the one who makes your mother pregnant is your father? Since God in Islam, Allah himself, supposedly in the Quran, made Mary pregnant. Doesn't that mean that Allah is the father of Jesus that you call Isa? Right? 
We've been asking the question, no answer. Why only Jesus in Islam is born out of virgin? No answer. Your shiyukh cannot answer the question. Your imams cannot answer your question. Me, me, fi, fi, lili, all your Muslim apologists, they cannot answer this question. They cannot. You, so you, you should not ask us. You should ask the Muslims. Why only Jesus? Why, oh, why only Jesus is born out of a virgin? There is no answer in Islam. Not now, good. let me give you the answer from the biblical perspective. Yeah. Yasmin, I sent you a YouTube video of mine where Sam Shimon actually described it fully to another ex-Muslim who accepted Christ right after listening to this while he was already online. So first, copy this and I'm going to give you a shorter can we, version. Is it, is, yeah, can you give us the short version so that I can play? I can play it, yes. no problem. Yeah, I can, I can give the short version. Yeah, so please. basically, the beauty is that number one, Jesus mm. has to be born without the father so that nobody can claim that he's the seed of a man. Mm. That's point number one. So that nobody can claim that he is the seed of a man. Number one. So if he's not the seed of a man, whose seed is he? Right? So we are not talking about literal seed over here. God did not come here and had performed sex. That's number one. Yeah, number we don't two. believe yeah, we don't believe that because Muhammad thought that's why he, when you see in chapter 5, I 18, for example, he says, no, 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 you Jewish and Christians, you, you call uh, God uh, Father. No, no, you are nothing but uh, humans. So Muhammad had no idea. He thought that when we say Jesus is the son of God, uh, the father, God forbid, that's a huge insult. That's blasphemy, sister Yasmin. When we say Jesus is the son of God, he's the uncreated word of God. He is the son of God. But Muhammad, the right. stupid Muhammad, he thought, that the father had se sex with Miriam, with, which you call Miriam, Mary, and that's how Jesus came into existence. That's a lie. That's not what the Bible teaches. Muhammad that's was stupidity. illiterate. He was stupid. Yeah. Exactly. Now, for the second part of the answer. Yeah. So basically, Adam and Eve sinned to begin with. That is why we call it original sin. Okay, mm. the concept of original sin, which is present in Quran as well, but Quran denies it later and said, "Oh, Satan did that." Allah. So Adam was saying, "I did it." Then Allah said, no, 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 it was Satan who did that. That's stupidity. Let's go to the real word of God. So real word of God says that Adam and Eve did sin. Eve said, oh, uh, Adam said, no, 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 God, Eve made me do that. Eve said, no, 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 the Satan made me do that. So they tried to put the blame on each other. But God said, you guys did it. You yeah. guys are all accomplisher. Now, the plenty of sin is death. God yeah. already said in Genesis 2 that if you eat the fruit, you will die. Yeah. But if they die... What will going to happen? There is no human mankind. So what God did, he delayed his punishment. But now every man is a sinner because he comes from the original sin. So somebody has to take upon the sins and die after taking upon the sins. Now that somebody, now realize what I'm saying, everyone to all the Christians who are present as well over here, listen to this word very carefully. Bible is very clear. Multiple times in the Old Testament it says, no man can take the sin of another man. Full exactly, stop. Exactly. It's very clear. Only God can. Only God. And who is right? God? Jesus in Let's the flesh. See. Let's find yeah. it out. Let's yeah. find it out. So no man can take the sin of another. Hence, no angel can take the sin of another. No lamb can take the sin of another. So basically what happened is, God has to do something by which mm -hmm. he could take upon the sin and give us his love and divine love. So in the Old Testament, you see every year people used to sacrifice animal and by the blood of the animal, they would have one more year of their life. They would say, okay, all of my sins, an ornament of the sin was the blood of the lamb. Now that's a separate thing. Let's go forward. Long story short, God sent his only begotten to this world because he loved this world. The sacrificing has to be finished. So what happened? God, became man i already read you philippians yeah. chapter number two verse number five to eleven you saw god humbled himself came down for us in a human form how can he be a human unless he is not born so that is why a lady was chosen without a man's intervention isaiah 7 14 says the the virgin will give birth so she was virgin never been touched by a man never been deflowered Isaiah already proclaimed that in a prophetic word 400 years before Christ. What happened? That lady bore a son 
and then luke already tells you the holy spirit will overshadow you and you will give birth to a son who will be called the son of god mm. so now that prophecy of the luke is going to be fulfilled that son of god who is god himself came as a as a human flesh and blood that flesh and blood was made sin it is said in hebrews it is said in romans it is said in colossians he was cursed mm. and his flesh was made sin now that sin that sin mm. was pierced on the cross mm. god gave the ultimate sacrifice all the sins of all the man was put upon him mm. that flesh put upon that flesh mm. brother just a second flesh, yeah. Sorry uh, to interrupt you. Yasmin is asking, "Human begets human. Likewise, God begot, <laughs> begot God." No. Hallelujah. No. 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 no this no, is no, not no, no. a begetting. We just told so you, you, God. God forbid. That's blasphemy. God did not have sex <laughs> with Maryam. No, no, that's no, no. what She's the imagination about... of the Muslimin and Muhammad is. Our God does not need to have sex like Allah, because Allah in the Quran is saying, "How can Allah have a son if if he has no sahiba girlfriend?" Right. Yes, that's the Quran. That's not and that's not the Bible. The Bible is no, crystal clear. I think she used the word beget, and she's not talking about the sexual. Oh, begot. oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, sorry. So, okay. yeah, she I already see. said no, 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 okay, no. Okay, okay. Fair enough. You asked me. Sorry yeah. for the misunderstanding. That okay. is why textual representation is not always good yeah. because voice representation is always good. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let me go to the end. That he himself took the sins, and through that sins, the initial word of God that. What did God said? You eat, you become sinner, you'll die. Mm. God gave the ultimate sacrifice Himself because He loves us, and that's what Bible says. Because He loves us, us. What does us means? What does the word means? Mm. Us humans, because we are the child of human through Jesus, uh, child of God. Through Jesus, we have the uh, right to be called the sons and daughter of God. We are not. Ghulam, we are not slaves. We are in a relationship, and that is, Deen is not just a Deen. It's a relationship with your Father, a heavenly Father. So that's the true essence. So I hope you understand that. And for everything more, anything more, please join my Discord. You can. That is. Hello. <laughs> I added Aaron Staley uh, to the call. Uh, Aaron Staley, can you mute you too, please? Uh, uh, Adam Seeker, maybe if you want to finish your sentence and maybe Adam uh, Aaron Staley no, wants done. to, yeah, go ahead, bro. No, Adam, go ahead, finish, finish. Yeah. No, no, I'm good, brother. I'm good. Please, please, add in. Yeah, what do you want to say uh, to Yasmin, uh, Aaron Staley, brother? Welcome. You're live on air. Go ahead. One of the admins. Yes, yeah. Yasmin Qureshi. I saw, I first saw your post like two days ago. Okay. And I recognize you as a legitimate seeker. Yeah. And I saw all these other people, okay? And I was hiding them and so forth because they were trolls. For some reason, other people can't spot these trolls. Mm -hmm. I spot them right off the bat. And I get rid of them as soon as possible. But you, I did not. Okay, I left you alone. All right, because you... You are asking the right questions, and you're still asking the right questions, mm. okay? You need to read the New Testament, and I know because you're coming from a different background and everything, I'm an American, mm. you're coming from a different background, everything's going to be kind of weird, it's going to be kind of different, uh, just be patient, okay? Be very, very patient. Uh, try not to speak amongst this uh, or about this amongst the people that you live with, the people that you are normally with, but speak about us with it because we understand what's in the book. Okay. Adam Seeker is, 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 he's a, I'm, I'm telling you right now, he's a professional. He knows exactly what's in there. So does Rob Christian. So does you know, everybody no, bro, else. I'm, I'm a nobody, to be honest with you. I'm really a nobody. Yeah, we're all nobodies. Yeah. None of us here are anybody. Okay? The only person that's anybody is Jesus Christ, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
I mean, okay, uh, there's no pride involved in, in uh, any of this. I'm just yeah. saying. We are here only to serve, exactly. I'm only here to no, serve. Adam Seeker is here to serve. All the admins, including our brother Aaron Stein, we are only here to serve, exactly. Yes, but the only people who really know, you know, in, in the event, uh, in this forum, in this uh, uh, theater, okay, of understanding, the only people who actually know what's going on, you're mm -hmm. talking to them. Yeah. You're talking to the right people, okay? These people like Muhammad Saeed and Mustafa says, okay, and whatever uh, new account that he decides to come in, okay, these people don't know what they're talking about. This is why we told you, Yasmin, when, when you left Islam, that does not automatically mean that Christianity is false and Jesus is not God. It just proves yeah. actually that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. That's the only exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. The, it's the opposite because if Quran is false, then by default, if there is God. So now there is there's one more thing. Yeah. If there is God, number one, you need to understand that. If there is God yeah. and Quran and yeah. Muhammad is false, then the Bible is the true word. But mm -hmm. if you say there is no <laughs> God, then come back to me. I will explain you how Bible is actually God's divine word because the prophecies, how I reached to that conclusion yeah. is because I became an atheist. Yeah. I said there is no... That's part of my point. Yeah, that's part I, of my point. Exactly. I, I, I became an atheist. I was like, there is no God full stop. That's where I be became. And that's you know what, what I was saying. Let me, let me give yeah. Yasmin Go the ahead. Go ahead. essence from here. So basically what happened was when I saw the prophecies because the New Testament has so many prophecies is unbelievable. Yeah. And I looked back on those prophecies. And yeah. then I looked back and I then bought the Dead Sea Scrolls because it has been carbon dated 300 to 600 years BC. So I was like, if this is already there and then Jesus is coming, so for sure this is a true word because everything is not possible. So one, yeah. how can a person decide that he's going to born here in this location, exactly. a small town in, in, in Nazareth, yeah. how is it possible? Yeah. And then born out of a virgin, so everything is pre-proclaimed, then it is being fulfilled, yeah. Do, going down through that path. Fulfilled through God. Jesus, amen, everything, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the true word of God. Because yeah. it Yasmin, is not possible. Yeah. I want to say something to Yasmin. Uh, Yasmin, Yasmin, are you there? Yes, are, you, are you there, sister? Just text it. Uh, yeah. Is okay. Yes, me. Yes, me. Look, look. I want to show her. Look, this is the book of Isaiah. Yes, me. That was written at least seven hundred years. I hope I'm I'm not mistaken, guys. I think yeah, around yeah, seven yeah. seven hundred years. Five, yeah, five to seven hundred. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, before the coming of Christ as the eternal Word of God in the flesh. Watch. Are you with me, Yes, me? Look. The prophet Isaiah, do you see it? The prophet Isaiah, you see it? The prophet Isaiah in chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 6, look what he said. Before the coming of Jesus, look. Look what he says. For to us a child is born. He made a prophecy, right? Look. For us, for to, for to us a child is born. So it is a child born. A child will going to be born in the future. That's what Isaiah is saying in his book. To us a son is given, so he's prophesying that a child will be born. That's the prophet Isaiah right there. To us right. a son is given, and to the government he will be on his shoulders. So he's going to carry every government on this planet on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Wait, Hallelujah. So, so there's a child born in the future? He is a son that is going to be given to Mary in the shape of Jesus, and he's God? Imagine hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. The prophet Isaiah in chapter 9 verse 6 prophesied. He gave a prophecy. Hundred years before. Hundreds and hundreds of years before the coming of Jesus. He already said there's going to be a child born yes. in Israel. Yes, yes, in Israel. And he's going to be God himself. What do you want okay. more? Hold on. What do you want more? Hold on, Rob. Yeah. Hold on, Rob. She write. She asked the right question. She yeah. said, it "Was this written before Jesus? Like it was written six hundred years before Jesus." You ask me, at least six hundred years before Jesus, and that is present in 
Dead Sea Scroll. So let me give you the answer yeah. of Dead Sea Scroll. Uh, Rob, hold on. She has the right uh, question. So yeah, please, of course. Brother, I'm sorry. She is asking so, the perfect she's questions. She's asking the right uh, question. Yeah. Uh, uh. yeah. So, so basically, when I had this problem, I went out and I searched on that and I realized there is something called Dead Sea Scroll. In 1947, they were digging up something to build a huge building near the Red Sea, right? They dug up and they found a, a big room inside there they found scriptures. Yes. Those scriptures are called Dead Sea Scrolls. Those scriptures were 18,000 scriptures of the Old Testament. This is present in those scriptures. And this is called mm -hmm. Dead Sea Scroll Bible. You can go and buy that online, either online from Amazon or you can buy a physical copy of yeah, this. See, this and these are the Dead all Sea of Scrolls. This, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the, all of these books are already present, written, carbon dated, that they were written before Christ. So imagine that before Christ, Isaiah said that it happened. Number one, number two, look at the Isaiah seven fourteen, please, brother Rob, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, yeah. I want to show her. Isaiah, so okay, so Isaiah seven, chapter number seven, verse yeah. number fourteen. Okay. So now we oh. see that he will be called God, but how will that child be born? We will see in Isaiah seven fourteen how this child will be born. Check this out. Read it, brother. Yeah. Therefore, the Lord himself, so watch, yes, me. Therefore, God himself, the Literally Lord himself, not. will give you a sign, an ayah, a sign, a sign, a, a miracle. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. So a virgin, it's prophesied in the same Isaiah's book. That a virgin is going to give birth to a son. That same son that we showed you. That same son that we showed you, right? Let me go back. And wait, 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 wait here, brother. Yeah. Just she, a second, bro. That same son, that same son, that same child that is born, his son is given, he is a mighty she, God. That same one. One plus one, right? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Uh, she's a Muslim. She doesn't know what Emmanuel means. So go back yeah. to Emmanuel. She needs to see Emmanuel. So what does Emmanuel mean? You know, uh, who can tell, who can tell what Emmanuel means? Okay, yeah. Uh, keep in mind, I want you to keep in mind that we're still finding Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. We're still finding a lot of them. Um, there was just news on Fox News uh, the other day about uh, 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 two books, fragments from two books that were found. Uh, you know, I mean, there, there's more and more, and they, they corroborate everything that we're saying. Everything that we put out, they're corroborating. Now, um, uh, Yasmin. Thank you. Uh, yes. Okay. God Yasmin is with is, us. God is with is us. It, so when Jesus is called Emmanuel, yeah. he's God in the flesh with us. Did you catch That's it? Right. Yasmin? So the prophet Isaiah, when he called him Emmanuel, do you see it? Oh, sorry, let me go back. When he called hey. him Emmanuel in verse 14. Verse 14. Yes, God is uh, with us. Seven. See, so Jasmine, seriously speaking, yeah. after doing immense research and banging my head on the wall, I was like, it's not possible to reject the word of God, which is Bible. You can't. You can't, yeah. The moment you start to read the Bible, you can't reject Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's not possible. Yeah. Yes. She says, can I ask one more question? What does word Israel mean? We have also always asked all the Muslims, the Quran over and over and over is talking about the people of Israel. Benu Israel, Benu Israel. Ben, who is who is who is Benu Israel? There is no answer in the Quran. Oh, it, it mentions there name, never has been. but they don't know. The Quran doesn't tell you. Muhammad himself didn't know. Your scholars don't know. They have to go to our Bible, and when we go to the exactly. Bible, we see that Israel is Jacob himself. Israel is the name. Israel is the name that God himself gave to Jacob. Amen. And hold on over here, please. Yeah. Because she will now get confused now. Yeah. Bani Israel, if Israel is land, how can you say children of Israel if Israel is land? Yeah. Right? So, Yasmin, the first thing first. First thing first. How can land bear sons or daughters or Bani, like their lineage? So, basically, Bible tells us Jacob is Israel. That's in Genesis. I forgot which verse. Probably somebody can give the answer. So, 
is J Jacob is called Israel because and then then Bani Israel makes sense because mm -hmm. they become the children of a man, right? So and then the the Israel, the m m famous Israel, eventually, you know, that that, that they were, they will call it like this. Is there a land Israel? Have you seen a land Israel? It was Palestine always to begin with. So how does Muhammad doesn't know that? Muhammad doesn't know anything. That's the fact. But this Bible already describes that. Yeah, that's right. the 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 thing is, is Benny Israel. Okay, uh, if 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 you learn, if you read yeah. the Old Testament and you learn what they what. Benny Israel is why his name was changed to Israel. Yeah. Here's the answer, right. just a bro just a second, brother. And God, God told uh, Jacob, look what he, look what God told Jacob, and he said unto him, "What is thy name?" And he said, "Jacob." And he said, "Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel." So we have right. the answer. We have the answer. Muhammad did Thank not have you. the answer. Allah himself does not have the answer, but our Bible does. For as a prince uh, has the power with God and with men and has prevailed. Amen. And Jacob the asked him and said to him, tell me, I pray to you, and, and you know, you can read the, the, the rest. Yeah, go the ahead. Chapter of, the, chap the, chapter, the chapter? This is chapter Genesis, uh, uh, Genesis book of Genesis, chapter th 32, verses 22 to 32. Okay, and yes. the fact of the matter is, is the fact that the, that that this is not in the Quran should tell you one hundred percent should tell every Muslim one hundred percent that the Quran is not the true book. Yes, mean are you there? Give me one, please, or say yes if you're there. She's there. I hope she's there. Yeah, she's, she's there. She's asking wonderful questions. Yeah. Okay, yes, mean look. Listen carefully, Yasmin. We love you. We, we don't need to repeat it all the time. We love you. This is why we're doing this for you. And you see, every question you ask, we deliver. From the Bible. Not from so, but from the Bible. You see, this person here, this he used to be a Muslim like you. He became an ex-Muslim. He was attacking Christianity. And you see, this is Brother David Hood, a, bro a fellow brother in, in Christ. Nabil Qureshi, that's what, that was his name. He died recently, but this person, this wonderful person who used his brains just like you, he left Islam and he started to ask the right question. And the questions that he found, he found in the Bible. All his questions were answered. And as you see, you can just be like him. Like him. Look how he's free. He's free from evil. He's free from falsehood, from the lies of Muhammad. He accepted Christ. If you want, you can become like him today. You can become like our brother here, Adam Seeker, who is on the call with me. Accept Jesus and be a newborn person in Jesus Christ. A newborn, totally new. No more sinning. No more lies. No more cursing. No more insults. Only love. And that's what he, he became. You look. Look. He became a totally new man. And I love to use this picture because this picture is proving... To everyone, how you can be changed if you truly accept Jesus in your life. You accept the truth, the truth will set you free. Jesus Amen. will take you back. Today you can be that person, like this person, like Adam Seeker that is here who is talking to us. Yasmin, are you going to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Please answer. Guys, just a second, let her answer. Are you open for Christ? Are you open for the gift that Christ gave to you? Are you willing to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And we are not forcing you, sister. We are not forcing you. It's, you. it's your gift. Take it. Do you accept the gift? Yes, this is life, Emmanuel. Of course this is life. <laughs> I don't know of what course happened. it's life. Yeah. But here's the thing, sister. Take the gift. Yeah. Take the gift. Read the New Testament. Maybe she's, you know. Understand it. Once you read the New Testament, please, she please, says, please, She says in Arabic, guys, Yesu'a, so she's calling Jesus by his real name, Yesu'a, Huwa al-Haqiqa, amen. amen. Just say, amen. say also, Jesus amen. is God, say it, amen. say Jesus is Yesua God, say it, sister. Rabbi. She Yesua said he's al-Haq, is the truth, amen. Guys, Yeshua huwa Rabbi, say it. Say it, don't be scared, say it. She said it. Amen. She said it. Of course she said it. 
Amen. He's Amen. 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 Rabbi. Say it, sister. Say it and be proud. Say the, it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. Amen. Rabbul Arbab. Rabbul Arbab. Yeshua Al Masah. Yes. Rabbul Arbab. Guys, give her a rose, guys. Give her a rose. She just became a sister, she a newborn sister. Many, Christ. She and many others said, mm. uh, you know, just by her saying it, many others, I'm cer I'm certain. I'm absolutely positive. You see, you see sister, yeah. Sorry, brother, right. just a second. Uh, sister uh, Yasmin, you, you do realize that you are, how many people? I lost count. You are at least the fourth person in two weeks who left Islam and became Amen. a Christian. Islam Amen. is dying. Islam is dying. Because you cannot reject the truth. Sincere human beings who care about their salvation, about their souls, they eventually will use their brains. Start to use your brains, just like you, Yasmin. I'm happy for you, everybody. Look, everybody in the live chat loves you and is happy for you. Say it. Say Jesus is God. Say it. Guys, just let her. I want her to say it with, without being scared. Say it. Say Jesus is my God. Say it, sister. Let her say it, guys. I know she can. You can do it, sister. Say it. Speaking from cave, hey all. Say it. 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 Say Jesus is God. God. Say it. You see, yes. how, sister, yes. you yes. see how many, many people yes. Lo yes. are loving yes. you right now? Yeshua al who are Rabbu. Yeshua al who are Rabbu. Rab, yeah, he's the, he's the Rabb. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Guys, um, you know, maybe she she's scared or something, you know. I, you know. No, but don't be she's scared. overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah she's overwhelmed. Yeah. People get people get emotional. Amen. There she is. There she is. See 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 what she's saying? Do you see it? Yeah. Yasmin Koresh, yeah. right there. You see what she's saying? Yeah, okay. she said she says Al Masih who he is my uh Sayyid. No, I want right. you to say Yeshua, Yeshua, who are Rob? Just say it. Don't be scared, sister. Say Yeshua, who she's are Rob? Scared. Yeah, she's saying, she, yeah, say it. She's overwhelmed. Mm. I know. She I know. really is overwhelmed. It, it's hard. It's very difficult when you come from. It's, it's not. Easy. I was over there too. Yeah. Okay, Adam was over there. You were over there. I'm over there. What do you need, dear? Say it. Just, say who are Rob? Say it. Who are Yeshua? Who are Rob? Say it. But nope, we don't been care been about political correctness here. They found Amen! Amen! Hallelujah! 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 Yes, we'll we're happy we'll for you, me. sister. We happy you. She just, said it. You know, she became a sister, okay. guys. In Christ. She said yes. it, guys. It's 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 on the screen. Everyone is welcome to Christ, sister. Smiling. We love you. You're blessed. You're a blessed sister now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But we need to we need yeah. we need to let her know that she needs to be careful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. she Mr. needs to be careful who she talks to uh, be, and what uh, she talks to them about. Uh. Hey, brother, hold on now. Now it's uh, listen, sister. Uh, now you need to know the word of God inside out. That's before right. Before you talk to anyone, so before right. you speak to a Muslim, you need to know the word of God inside out. Just like you asked us questions, we gave you the answers from Bible. Same is the case when you know the word of God enough, you should go and talk to the people then, not before. And she said, can't deny that unless I got hard evidence that Al Masih Laisa Hu Rabbi. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, sister. Yeah. Thank you, sister, for this comment. And may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, and keep you humbled as well. Now. Read the word of God inside out. You should know yeah. everything, so you should be able to yeah. answer everything. Yeah. And, and the following, yeah, exactly. And the following step, sister. Now that you accept Jesus from your heart and from your, and you confess it through your tongue, right? You need the following step. Take your time. Go to a Trinitarian church. Go to a church and and tell them to get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as one God. Like as you see in the scripture, uh, in the, in, on the screen, on this, on this photograph, on this image, this is this to, to finally, to finally complete your journey as a Christian. This is the next step to do. Be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and you're going to complete your journey as a Christian. 
Amen. And and you don't have to thank us, Yasmin. Yeah. Please don't thank, thank us. The Lord. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank the, the Lord. Lord. We are only here to to serve. We are only here to help and show what the Bible is saying. Expose false liars like Muhammad, so that you can be saved, like all the Muslims yeah. who are open for the truth, and that you're yeah, going to become that, the Christ. That we did not do this. We did not do this. It was Jesus who did this. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it, it's not us who brought you this information. Jesus wanted yes. you back. Jesus wanted you back home, sister. Amen. Jesus it's had a plan for you. You for see, him. this is this is this is the power of Jesus. Jesus has a plan for everyone, including you, Muslims. All right. Amen. Amen. All of you. I don't know where you are. I do not know where you live. And don't do tell us, please. No, please yes. don't tell and us. Yes, please. exactly. Don't, don't even yeah. say that out loud yeah. over here at all. One. Number two, when it comes to baptism or going to church, it all depends of, on how free you are. So these are not something that will that will take you away from the salvation of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you that bluntly, mm -hmm. openly, there will be many Trinitarian churches who will hate me for saying that, mm -hmm. but I don't care. I'm telling you the reality. Yeah, right. You are already in Christ. Yes, when it is safe for you to take the baptism, you should. Yeah. I'm not saying don't take it. But I'm saying that to take the baptism, you do not have to put your life in danger. No. Point number no. one. No. Point number two. If you can go to church, good. If you cannot go to church, you do not have to. Start reading the word of God now. When you have the freedom to go to church, then you can go to church. But for That's now, good. start reading the word of God. Point number three. If right now, what is going to happen is all of your friends that you can talk to openly, you will not be able to. Yeah. Hence, you can come to our Discord server where you can speak about these things openly, yeah. clearly, and you can ask any question. Maybe so you can give her the link again, brother. Maybe uh, you know that yes, she can join. Yeah, you can you can join the Discord uh, server, sister. Uh, just download Discord app. There's an app called Discord uh, on your smartphone in the App Store, whatever, and you can join yeah, and yeah. you can uh, ask as much questions as you want. All right. And uh, the admins yeah, here, the admins here are yeah. willing to answer your questions. Guys, I want to tell her something. Uh, you know, that's yes a very good passage. You yeah, Yasmin, are you there, sister? You know, we need to share this more often, uh, guys. Yasmin, look. Yes, she is. D don't don't Muslims always tell us that the gospel, the Injil, uh, got corrupted or even lost? Yeah. You see, Muslims yeah, always yeah. say the gospel, the Injil that you Christians have is it's not the real Injil. But wait, look, this is the biography by Ibn Isham, Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Isham on the life of Muhammad on page 104. Do you see it? It's in front of you, right? Look what it says. It is extracted from what John the Apostle. Look, so uh, Ibn Isham, Ibn Ishaq. This, this is the, the earliest book about the life of Muhammad. Imagine. It's extracted from what John the Apostle said down for them when he wrote the gospel. So how do, you know, here's the one million dollar question. How do Muslims say that the gospel, the Injil is corrupted, it's lost? Well, here, <laughs> the most earliest book about the life of Muhammad is, is confirming that, the jo that John, the Apostle himself, who is one of the Apostles of Jesus, he said, said down for them when he wrote... So who wrote John? John wrote John. John wrote the Gospel of John. For them from the Testament of Jesus, son of Mary. Do you see it? So even your oldest book that you have. This is the oldest book that Islam has. Sister. By, by Ibn Isham Ibn Ishaq. Confirming, admitting that John wrote John. You see John the Apostle wrote John, the Gospel of John, and he got it from who? From himself? No, no. He got the Gospel from Jesus. He wrote it about Jesus from Jesus. So do you see that even your satanic books have to admit that the Injil is reality. It's the truth. Right. But your Muslim heroes, or who used to be your Muslim heroes, oh, me, 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 Adnan Rashid, all of them, Muhammad yes, Hijab, yes. all of them, they have to lie even about what your bo books used to say. Look, it's yes, impossible. Yes, yes. Guys, Yasmin yes, yes, sent a beautiful comment. Beautiful comment. Read that, brother. Let's see. Yasmin, yes, let me copy comment. and paste, guys, what she, just, what, she, what she just said. 
Just a second. Oh, mm-hmm. she beautiful comment. She has been listening to a lot of people already. Yeah. She said that the uh, the Injil is a Greek hey, word, man. and Bible was written in Greek in the first century. Of course, Christians mm-hmm. have the Greek with them from the first century. Her mind yeah. is open, Amen. man. Yeah. <laughs> She exactly. got it. Yeah. She got it right. And and you see, guys, even the oldest book that Muslims have in their hands about the life of Muhammad that you see on the screen admits the G that the Apostle John, John himself wrote John, and he wrote it on the account of Jesus. Do you see it? Even their oldest book must admit it. This is page 104 by Ibn Hisham, Ishaq Ibn Hisham. There we go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Bam. Yeah, look. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Look, this is this is a passage, uh, Sister y- uh, Yasmin. Are you there, Sister Yasmin? And any Muslim who leaves that's Islam that's and accepts Jesus, look what it says. Because today is a day of days for you, Sister Yasmin, and for us too. We are happy for you. Look what the Bible is saying about people like you who just became a Christian. Look, Luke, the Gospel of Luke, chapter fifteen, verse seven. It says, "I say unto you that likewise." Joy shall be in heaven. So there is a celebration right now in heaven. Over one sinner like you, Yasmin. Over one sinner like you that repents like you. More than over 90 and 9 just persons which need no repentance. So look, the angels, the people in heaven are, in, are having a celebration that you are saved today. That's how, how, how God loves you. Imagine, sister. There's a huge celebration right now in heaven because your soul is saved. Be Amen. proud. Be proud that you are that you are a Christian, a follower of Christ. That's the meaning of Christian, a follower of Christ. Yeah. Uh, no problem. And, Go ahead, guys. And obviously this is the start of your journey uh, in Lord and you should be proud that you are now be called sister yeah. of us and daughter of God. It's a relationship. You can talk to your heavenly father the way you like mm. in any location, mm. you in any place. You do not have to remember some verses to talk to God. Mm. God is a father, heavenly father. Speak with him in your own language, the language that is clear for you to speak with. Sit down, bend down, bend your knees, however, or stand up, does not matter. Does not matter whichever position you want to humble yourself to talk to father, you can. And that's the beauty of the true God. Yeah. He does not Amen. need an exercise from you. Yeah. He needs you to talk to him. That's it. He doesn't need an exercise. You can do exercise whenever you want to. He needs you to be in communion with him. He needs you. He not needs. He wants you. He would like you to be in communion with him. Every day at every time. Just like it says yeah. in the Bible yeah. as well. Yeah, and pray to and pray to Jesus, pray to God as a friend to a friend. You know, uh, yeah. it's not it's not uh, it's not like in Islam. You have to pray five times a day. You know, when you feel yeah. the need to talk to God, you can do that on any hour, any minute in, in, in during the day. Just you know, it's not about bragging. And you know, Muslims always go on the street and they love to sh- do a show off. You know, it's, it's a dan- dancing contact. No. Go to your room, close the door behind you, and pray in secret, right? Pray in secret. It's not about showing up. It's about a personal connection, a personal relationship with your creator in heaven, right? Uh, Congratulations, sister Yasmin. You are now a dear sister in Christ. Like I said, if you have the time, uh, Rome was not built in one day. So take your time, and, and when you are ready, go get baptized, because to complete your your journey, as a Christian, get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Find yourself a, a good church. And like I said earlier, and Adam Seeker too, join join Discord if you like, so that the admins can help you, or Adam Seeker can t- uh, and, and others That's can right. help you with your questions and whatnot. And uh, the admins will always try to, uh, to, to try to help you. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, Brother Aaron Staley, Brother Adam Seeker, any last words before we wrap this up, please? Mm-hmm. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name, yes. And yes, you have much to learn. Do not proclaim anything openly and may the Lord bless you. Keep it, keep you safe, humble, learn the yeah. word of God. And when the time is right, the Lord who is living God, he will give you the sign. Yeah. Ask yeah. and pray. Yeah.
and everything will be revealed to you because these are the gifts of the spirit that Jesus, my Lord, your Lord has given to us. There are the Amen. spiritual gifts that you will receive. So humble yourself, know the word of God. The time is near that you will receive the spiritual gifts because now your body is the temple of God. So know that, believe in that. You are the child of God and you Amen. will see miracles. Amen. Amen. In Jesus and that what do what do we all they always say, Adam Seeker? In the end, Yeshua. <laughs> Amen. 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 Jesus, Lord, every every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah! Glory to Jesus! Congratulations, Jasmine, and I hope that many Muslims who watch today's show are convinced that Muhammad is a false prophet. Throw my